I hope that you liked Charlotte's Web. That's such a fun book, isn't it? It's filled with all kinds of neat things, sad things and happy things and friend things and love things. Um, but now that we have just a little bit of time left, I'm going to read to you from Amelia Bedelia Goes Wild. Some of you have really enjoyed Amelia Bedelia books. This is a quick read. I'm probably going to do two chapters a day. Chapter one. Sick as a dog. Amelia Bedelia was sick. She was really, really, really sick. She was sick of being in her bedroom. She was sick of playing with her animals and dolls. She was sick of watching nature programs on TV. She was sick of gazing out the window at the beautiful spring day. She was sick of thinking about how much fun her class was having without her on a field trip to the zoo. How's the worst patient in the world? asked Amelia Bedelia's mother. She put a bowl of soup and grilled cheese sandwich on Amelia Bedelia's desk, along with Amelia Bedelia's favorite fruit, a banana. Amelia Bedelia stood up in bed. I'm all better now, she announced. To prove it, she jumped up and started waving her arms all around. Quickly, she plopped down again. Mommy, she said, make the room stop spinning. Don't make yourself dizzy, sweetie, her mother said, tucking her in. I don't want you to fall and hit your head on top of having the flu. Amelia Bedelia began coughing. Are you okay, asked her mother. This pesky flu is one tough bug. Flu comes from an insect? said Amelia Bedelia. That's gross. It's not fair that a tiny bug stopped me from going to the zoo. I'm missing all the cool animals. Only one good thing had happened while Amelia Bedelia was sick. She had gotten to watch TV a show about monkeys and she learned an amazing thing. Since monkeys eat lots of bananas, they'd figured out a way to peel it instead of starting at the hard stalk at the top. They turn the banana upside down. They pinch a little nub at the bottom and the skin falls right off. Amelia Bedelia peeled her banana that way that she had seen the monkeys do on TV. Presto, it worked. Then the skin fell right off. Amelia Bedelia ate her banana, but she didn't touch anything else because she was too sick. Chapter two, not a fit night for Amelia Bedelia or Beast. When Amelia Bedelia's father got home from work, he sat on Amelia Bedelia's bed and began polishing off her sandwich and soup. Sick as a dog still, eh? He said, and he looked around Amelia Bedelia's bedroom. Hey, speaking of dogs, where's finally? Amelia Bedelia was about to sneeze, so she pointed to her dog who was curled up on a bed in the corner of a room. Ah-choo! Choo! Sneezed finally at exactly the same time. That's a neat trick, said her dad. So is finally as sick as a dog too? She has no choice, said Amelia Bedelia. Finally is a dog. She can't be as sick as an elephant. Good point, said her dad. Hey, you aren't playing a po are you not playing possum, are you? You didn't miss your school trip to the zoo on purpose. Daddy, what are you talking about? asked Amelia Bedelia. If I were a possum, I'd have my own cage at the zoo. Amelia Bedelia's mother came in just as her father was swallowing the last bit of grilled cheese. Oh, Amelia Bedelia, she said. I'm glad you managed to eat your sandwich. You need to get your strength back. Amelia Bedelia's father put his finger to his lips, a signal that what had happened to her sandwich would be their secret. I need my strength, too, he said. It's a jungle out there. My office is a total zoo. It was wild today. Sorry, honey, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Come tell me about it in the kitchen so Amelia Bedelia can rest. I almost forgot, little possum, said Amelia Bedelia's father from the doorway. Did you hear what happened today? A monkey escaped from the zoo. Maybe it's a good thing you stayed home. They might have mistaken you for him. We'd be sneaking into the zoo right now to rescue you. Usually Amelia Bedelia's father's jokes made her laugh, but this was not one of those times, though she was really sick. Amelia Bedelia's mother rolled her eyes. Come along, honey, she said. I need help with dinner. Amelia Bedelia buried her face in her pillow. She was sick, and now she was heart sick, too. This disaster was getting worse. Not only had she missed the thrill of being at a zoo on an amazing field trip, but a monkey has escaped, and her whole class was there. This would never, ever happen again. What if she would have been able to capture it? What if... What? Choo! Amelia Bedelia felt more miserable than ever. The only thing she'd caught was a bug, the flu. She buried under her blankets like a hibernating bear, it was getting windy outside. Thunder was rumbling closer. Tree branches clattered against her window. They sounded like claws tapping and scratching. Her dad was right. It was a jungle out there. Lightning flashed and thunder roared. 
Or was that an enormous lightning bug in a lion? Amelia Bedelia tossed and turned. She felt hot, then cold. Strange pictures popped into her head. Her stuffed animals were on the move. A penguin waddled behind Koala, riding a hippopotamus. The animals gathered in a circle on her bedspread, drinking from a water hole at her feet. Suddenly, she was in her backyard. The sky was filled with enormous puffy clouds shaped like flamingos. A giant bunny and an otter peeked out from behind her mom's azaleas. The giraffe was nibbling on the garage, and then the class came walking by. Amelia Bedelia was so happy to see everybody. How was the zoo, she asked. The zoo was nice, said her friend Clay, but your backyard is way better. Help us look for that missing monkey. Amelia Bedelia and her classmates searched everywhere, and she introduced them to all of her animals. Do you feel better, pretty pup? said Amelia Bedelia when she finally spotted finally next to the bird bath. I'm fine now, said finally, but for a while I was as sick as Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia couldn't believe that her dog was actually talking. Her cheeks burned hotter and hotter and her head pounded until at least her fever, at last, her fever broke. She listened to the rain gently drumming on the windowsill and she fell asleep. The next morning, as soon as Amelia Bedelia woke up, she had the strangest idea of her life. It was a really big idea. She wanted to go to school right away and tell her friends, even though it was a Saturday. She needed their help. Amelia Bedelia was certain that when they heard her big idea, they would be as excited as she was. They might think it was weird or even wacky, but one thing was certain. It was going to be wild.